outro cast. Tom, good afternoon for me. Is it good good evening for you? Are you on? It's good, e it's good evening for me. Yeah. Um, do you know what, man? It's, you're the first person I've been able to see on the video. So it's nice to see your face. I have to say. Um, it's good evening here. It's raining, unfortunately, in London. But aside from that, everything's cool. How are you, man? You good? I'm good because I'm talking to the star of Shepherd. Uh, you know, simple as that. But my wife is a diehard fan of a Discovery of Witches. She read the books, then she saw you as Kip Marlowe, etc. So it's a real pleasure to connect. And Shepherd looks like it's a real artistic, hard project for you to do. As in, like, I don't go, hey, Eric Black, Tom, same guy. Am I way off on that? No. No, you're not way off at all. Um, but I, I, I felt there was, you, no, no, you're not. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. The last thing I would ever do to myself is take myself to a, an isolated island with my dog and, and decide to live there. So no, we're very different people. Um, but there's a thrill in that, I think, as an actor. Obviously, that your job is to, is to step into someone else's shoes and. Um, and there was something about Eric that resonated with me and there was an honesty, I think, in the way that Russell had mapped out the story and told that story that I just thought was uh, brave, actually, and, and, and incredibly, uh, it, it, I could feel it. It was tangible and, and, I, and I felt quite necessary to tell that story. And, um, and also I was very excited to be stepping into a genre that not only have I never done before, but I, I, if I'm honest, I don't really... I, it's not really the genre that I know a lot about. And I felt like that would be exciting to learn about it from the inside out. And also as an actor, you know, you rely on certain things, you bounce off people, you, you connect with people. And I, I knew I was stepping into an environment that apart from a couple of days, I had no one. And that, that was probably naively from my side, but that was quite um, an exciting challenge. So, so no, Eric's very different to me, but it was, it was to say it was a pleasure to bring him to life we're kind of, I have to mitigate that with, obviously, if, you, if you're going to try and make that resonate and feel real, you kind of go through some of it, you know, but, um, you know, I, I feel very privileged to have had the opportunity to bring them to life, for sure. In preparation of a role that's so different from you, you know, the marital status situation on top of the, where it is that you're going in the profession, are you the kind of actor that then goes, okay, time for me to speak to a shepherd, and you go method in that end? No, no. I mean, it's it's no. But then, but then I think you do what I think is right for you as an actor to get you in the place that you can be the most open uh, and the most alive. It doesn't always work, but you try and and and, and in a place that can connect. Because fundamentally, our job is to be a vessel, isn't it? We take the story and we are the vessel that passes it to you. And and so for me, I actually, you know, some people will write like five books of backstory. I, I know I don't really annotate my, my script. My script is pure, it's pristine, it never gets touched. It, it kind of, that's golden in a way for me. And, but I do do a lot of research and I do do a lot of reading, you know, and, and things that are kind of more, I guess more physical reading, obviously is inspired by the intellect, but I'll, sure. I'll listen to a lot of music. I'll find music that I feel gets me in the, in the energy that resonates with what I think I need to get to. And, it's perhaps, I don't know, think more tactile, I guess, my research in that respect, things that, that kind of resonate the body a bit. Um, and then when I'm on set, you know, like everyone was allowed to call me Tom, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's not like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have to call me Eric, like it's cool. But there's definitely an element of, I try, I try to cheat as little as I can. So I, I took myself to, an, I, I moved to a different hotel on the island. We were on the island for six weeks. So I moved to a hotel that was miles away from anyone. No one from the crew was staying there and I had a window that looked over the sea and the weather would be against it and just try to put my body through the experience of feeling that isolation as much as I could. But, but no, I, I wouldn't say it's method per se, if you know what I mean. You just mentioned music, huge music person over here. What are some of the artists or which are some of the artists, grammatically correct right there, that you would listen to to go, OK, time to focus here? It's really interesting, isn't it? Because like it changes for me on every job, and actually, it can be the most ridiculous thing. It can be, it can kind of sometimes because it, it's about I think getting my body into the state. Sometimes it could be quite contradictory. So I, I remember like I did a thing years ago for the BBC that came out on BBC America called The Game, 
Mm -hmm. I just listen to, I listen to Policy and Pan by the Beatles over and over again, and they have no relevance at all to the game. But I think on this, there was, you know, there was a lot of Rage Against the Machine, which is kind of a bit obvious, but there was, and there was actually an incredible amount of techno, and I can't really tell you why. I think there was something about the beat, something about, you know, and it would vary, a lot of early 90s dance, actually. I think it just kind of, it's something about the heartbeat of it, and it changed, and, and also, you know, when you're freezing cold and you're and you're in a yeah, you are on the island. You kind of if you find it and it, you've got to wait two hours to to, to land that again. And, and there was yeah. something about the repetitiveness. And also, I think that actually, and I've never really analysed this before, but I think part of what Eric is going through is that he he was he was a bit on kind of on a loop, dealing with his guilt and dealing with with all of those things and was trapped in that and there's something again i guess about that music but rage against the machine would be the one that to hang your hat on yeah for sure rage never gets old in this household let's face yeah it, it is yeah. timeless music that no one knew was timeless music just don't listen to tom morello's band before rage against the machine unless you so want about to that, have you ever seen have you ever seen the video of rage playing live when they're at school together yeah yeah oh like california God. state fullerton or something like that oh my like days, just my God. Yeah, that, I mean, they're, they're incredible then, you know. Anyway, totally. anyway I, I, I digress, I digress. So the currency of the entertainment industry, for better and for worse, is IMDb. So whenever I'm speaking with an actor, I always realize, oh, this new project is like three projects ago, at least. Um, so I see you're filming an upcoming series, The English. Is that correct or is that fake news? No, it's correct. Um, filming is fake news. We've already filmed it, but um, uh, it is correct. Yeah, that we did that last year. So that will be coming out um, on Amazon. And I, I think in, on the BBC in the UK, I'm not, I'm not sure. I guess Amazon in America. Um, yeah, that was great, man. That was wicked. I, I can't say too much about it, but it was, um, it was amazing. An amazing cast and, and Hugo Blick, who I think is fantastic, wrote and directed it. So it was a, a real privilege to work with him. Um, yeah, it was cool, man. It was a lot of horse riding, a lot of horse riding. For me, no horse riding. For you, <laughs> yeah. you for taking chances with your roles. Like, I can't quite go, hey, this is a Tom role, because you're like, sometimes it's dramatic, sometimes it's centuries ago. Kudos to you on evolving with the role. So two quick questions, and then I'm going to let on. you go. And All the right, first man. one is, who is your favorite band? You mentioned the Beatles, you mentioned Rage Against the Machine, but do you have a favorite band or artist? Do you know what? Just because I feel like they deserve to be recognized. Like, oh, there's obviously like, you know, I grew up in the northwest of England in like in my teenage years were started in the late 90s. I'm obviously going to be an Oasis fan. But like there's the Beatles, there's the Stones, there's there's like like my one of my favorite guitarists is Paul Kossoff from Free. Like there's so many, like there's so many avenues I could go through. But there's a band from Leeds that came out in like the early noughties called The Music. Oh and, yeah. Um, Great band. They, 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 well, they're wicked and they just they just don't seem to get um I don't know. They're, they're one of the best bands I've ever seen live anyway. Uh, so just because I feel like they deserve to be to be heralded, uh, I'm going to say the music, although I don't think they are actually my favourite band, but that's the answer I'm going to give you. Yeah, I mean, every now and then you have a band that you go, this is not my favourite band, but I'm just going to obsessively listen to them only for three days. Like, I just did that's that with my, Afghan yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know the be. Afghan Wigs are not the best band, but hey, I'm going to listen to them for just two days. I'm going to listen to Van Halen for five days. But, you know, well, the, the music, the music made me go out and buy a line six amplifier that I think I used for about a week. But that in itself means they deserve to be recognized for sure. I hear you. My last question for you, my wife and I, we pick a new show to watch and then we wind up finishing in three, four days and we go, what do we watch next? Do you have a show recommendation or two that you could pass along? Do you know what, man? This is really bad at the moment, mate. I've, I've, been, I've been working so hard, like busily. Um, when I'm not in work, I'm just, all I do is listen to music. Because to me, it's almost like I need to escape that world for a bit and get back to me. So ask, ask me, in, ask me in, a, in a month or two's time when I'm not filming and I'll be, I'll be watching stuff. But right now, it's, I'm, the, I'm the last person to ask, I'm afraid. I just give you a bad recommendation and I wouldn't want to do that to you. The answer is not Love Island UK? <laughs> Watch that if you want. I've never seen it. It's meant to be good. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, thank you for your time. Looking forward to whatever is next, whether it's the English, even if that's four projects ago and we're now seven projects down the line. Thank you for your time, Tom. Not at all, man. It's a pleasure to meet you. Outro cast. <laughs>